It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that all children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. They're long gone. Quite observant, aren't you, Mr. Tate? It's always amazed me how humans seem to need to point out the blatantly obvious. Sorry. I was just curious how they did it so fast. They're vampires. They have to know how to make themselves disappear at the drop of a hat. It's often necessary. But they took all the furniture with them. Like I said, they're vampires. Have they left Portland? I don't get that lucky. Edmund and his coven are still around somewhere. I can feel it. I'll keep my ears open and let you know if I find anything. This is weird. They wrote something on the wall. Leviathan dances. Mean anything to you? It's a reminder. And a warning. What of? It's a bit complicated to get into right now. Try and find Jerry Tibbs. He might know where Edmund's gone to ground. I'll get on it. I... Well, I stopped by Chris's apartment last night. Why should I care? She's not too good, Byron. Hasn't gotten out of bed in days. She's not feeding, either. I had to go and raid a blood bank last night so she wouldn't starve. You know what that's like for a hunter? Actually finding blood for a vamp? It goes against everything I've been trained to do. If you have some point to make, Cullen, could you get to it? Just being blatantly observant? You've been kind of moody lately. That's my nature. Of course it is. This is none of my business anyway. No, it's not. So how about you focus on the task at hand? Find Edmund for me before people die. I'll get on it. What do you want me to do about this place? Tortured. <laughs> oh yeah, you're doing just fine, pale man. The truth of the matter was, I was not doing well. For the first time in many years, I was a mortal human once more. Edmund's attempt to turn me into a vampire had a great cost on my being. I was not well. And sadly, my evening was about to get a good deal more complicated. There were ten in all, all pointing rifles at me, and all dressed in the black uniforms of the Order. It had been a while since I'd last encountered any of their agents. Let me guess. Someone told you it was my birthday and you all wanted to surprise me. Really, you shouldn't have gone to all this trouble. The truth is, it's not my birthday. Come to think of it, I'm not entirely certain just when my birthday is. I really should look into that. For all I know, I could be due for retirement soon. Must you always prattle on so? She stepped into the circle. And to be quite honest, I was very surprised to see her alive. Agent Catherine of the Order. A woman I had believed dead. Catherine! You're looking well. You look surprised to see me. After all, you abandoned me in a city full of zombies the last time I saw you. You're not going to hold that against me, are you? I do have to admit a girl could take that badly. Well, you know how it was. Places to see, things to do. Nice to see you doing well. If it's all the same to you, I must be off. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Byron. Yes, I thought you'd say that. So what's it going to be? Am I being taken captive? Thrown into a cell where you plan to extract your vengeance on me? Just what kind of a person do you take me for? The Order is above that sort of thing. Actually, we need your help. In that case, perhaps we should get a drink and talk. Preferably without your arms thugs around. God's name is this unholy place. Dante's. Nice place to get a drink. Byron. Long time no see. What can I get for you? Do you have any mead, son? Mead's not easy to come by these days, you know. It's not like there's a lot of call for it. How about a nice soul of the zombie? I don't know. What's in it? 
vodka. Some spiced rum. Ground up flesh of a zombie with its eye floating in the drink. Windows to the soul, I see. I think I'll stick with my usual. An orange juice coming up. And what about your lady friend? Just water. Have a seat, pale man. I'll bring your drinks to you. Thanks, Sam. There are monsters in here. Really? I never noticed. I wouldn't worry. Besides, humans come here a lot as well. The Crimson Mist and I used to meet here. The Crimson Mist. Nice chap. Fought against crime and all things evil back in 43. Here's your juice and water. Thanks, Sam. Are you sure I can't tempt you with something more than water, miss? Could I get, um, a Bloody Mary with real blood in it? Depends on what blood type you want. I had a run on OB negative, and I'm clean out. I'll stick with the water. Your call. Why did you bring me here, Byron? Because there are many people around, and you're far less likely to try anything stupid. I would not have come to you if I were trying something. One of your cardinals said the same thing just before they tossed me into a nice dark hole for a century. Cardinal Malachi has made a number of changes to the way the Order conducts its business. Yes, but you still have a mandate to cleanse the world of monsters, purifying the world for Christ's return. The work is ever ongoing. We must do everything in our power to aid the Lord's return. I've always wondered why people feel the need to help God. I mean, did he pull a hamstring or something? He's all powerful, why can't he do it himself? Do not blaspheme the Most High, Pale Man. I am only here because Cardinal Malachi thought you could be of help. If I had my way, I'd... Have me torn into pieces by a group of zombies, perhaps? Don't tempt me. This whole city is a cesspool for demon kind. Yeah, the worst one I know of is Lars. It's his own radio show, but I digress. Why don't you tell me what you want, Catherine? We picked up chatter from the European Coven of Vampires. Something that Dimitri is taking an active interest in. Dimitri? Where is he these days? From what we can tell, he's still in France. At least for the time being. So what have you found out? We're not entirely certain, but some faction has been causing them a great deal of unrest. There has not been this much activity since the last blood war. The blood war was during the Dark Ages. The Masquerade Pact came about because of it. Even though vampires began to live in secrecy, the agreement allowed them to still prosper and flourish. We know Dimitri established that pact. We believe you had a hand in it as well. Oh, nothing major. Just offered a few pointers here and there, sort of like I did with Moses in the Fourteen Commandments. I pointed out people would be more comfortable with a nice round number like ten, so he edited it down some. Mind you, number twelve would have been interesting. Involved a duck, a flag and a veil, tree bark, a wheel of cheese, and some... Yes, whatever. This is why we need you. We want you to find out what's going on. So you want me to just pack up and fly off to France tonight? That won't be necessary. As I said, Dimitri is still in France, but we believe he's coming here to speak with you. Ah. Is he now? You seem uneasy. Dimitri has not left France in over 400 years. Even during the Second World War, when the city was overrun with the Nazis, he stayed put. It was more than his home. It's his power base. He sends others to do his bidding. Something very big would have to be going down for him to be coming to see me personally. Well, now you see why we came to you. Okay. I'll find out what you want to know, but your force has to stay out of Portland. Why? Dimitri never goes anywhere without his personal guards. The last thing Portland needs is a full-scale war breaking out between your people and his. They would prove no match for us. God is always on our side. The Order would vanquish them. I don't care. Those are my conditions, Catherine. (sighs) Very well. It's the only way he'll cooperate. I know that. I know that as well. Cardinal, with all due respect, you are the one who insisted we approach him. 
I will, sir. Not yet. I shall very soon. Yes, sir. I'll keep you appraised. Catherine out. So how is Malachi? Not pleased. However, he is willing to go along with your demands. Our forces will stay outside this city. For now. Good. I'll be in touch. Do you have an estimate when Dimitri will arrive? <sighs> Our best guess is... Sometime within the next 48 hours. I... I need to sit down for a moment. Are you all right? I will be in a moment. You didn't get out, did you? Not alive, anyway. No. No, I didn't. When you left me, the zombies killed and feasted on me. A few minutes later, my corpse reanimated. I was just... just like them. A mindless monster hunting for warm living flesh to feed on. Why weren't you incinerated when the order bombed the city? Some of our troops found me in the woods nearby one of the encampments. Somehow I had wandered out of the city before it was bombed. They captured me and took me back to the Vatican. I'm surprised they didn't just, well, kill you. This gave them the chance to test a new experimental drug. Seeing as I was already dead... They used you as a guinea pig. Yes. And it works. More or less. I have to keep taking the injection every few hours, or... I revert back into a zombie. I'm... I'm sorry, Catherine. <laughs> sorry? You're... Sorry? You were the one that left me there in the first place, Byron. I, Catherine, believe me, if I... I thought you said your forces would wait outside of the city. Those aren't our vans, Byron. Ah. I think your timetable is a tad off. So it seems. Much like the troops of the Order, the European Guard all dressed alike wearing dark crimson uniforms with ceremonial swords draped on their side. In a flash, they had Catherine and me surrounded. And that's when he came out. He was dressed the same as the guard, only his uniform was black. This was Felix, the captain of the Coven forces. Pale man, it's been a while. Felix, I see your fashion sense hasn't improved any. Mm-hmm, still haunting this city, I see. What can I say? It's home. The Masters have engaged me with the task of retrieving you. And how is Dimitri these days? You can ask him yourself. He has come a long way to meet with you. Come now, or you'll be late. Late for what? Late as in he'll have us killed. It's a threat. Felix is a big fan of the Hitchhiker's Guide. Hitchhiker's Guide to what? Don't read much, do you? Just the Bible. Kate and I boarded the back of the van. As the door was closed behind us, my heart jumped for a moment as I came face to face with someone I had not been expecting to see. Chris, is that you? Byron? Oh, thank God. Are you alright? Me? Oh. Uh, I'm fine, I guess. What are you doing here? I don't know. I was at home when these goons smashed in. They kept asking me where you were. I told them I hadn't seen you in weeks. Then they dragged me out and tossed me in the back of this van. I'm sorry, Chris. They shouldn't have brought you into this. I take it the blood drinker is an acquaintance of yours. Gee, who's your charming friend, Byron? Chris, this is Agent Catherine. She's with the Order. Catherine, this is Chris Barrow. Agent Catherine? Isn't she the one you told me was killed by the zombies? Yes. I've gotten better. Are you behind these people? I'm as much a captive as you are. Freak. Don't call her that. <laughs> my, my. Touchy, aren't we? I take it the vampire means something to you. More than you do. Since we're all stuck in the same boat, may I suggest we try and get along? And Catherine, do me a favor. Try and restrain yourself from saying something that may provoke our hosts into trying to kill us. The Lord is my shepherd. I do not fear the monsters. They shall fall before his wrath, for I am his blade. <laughs> Says the girl who was turned into zombie chow. 
There will come a time when Byron is not there to protect you, child. Then, you and I, we shall have a reckoning. A reckoning? <laughs> what is it with you and these dime store theatrics? It's the way everyone in the Order talks. Now knock it off the both of you. The European Coven is regarded as royalty by other vampires due in part because they have lived for thousands of years. Also because they act as police, enforcing the laws that vampires are bound by. The Coven and I have an unwritten agreement. They stay out of my affairs and I leave them to theirs. The fact that they have felt the need to seek me out made me quite uneasy. Could it be possible they've learned I'm powerless now? Could they be planning to kill me once and for all? But then why come all this way just for that? No. No, there had to be something more going on. Something they needed me for, but what was it? The vans took us across the Willamette River and into the neighborhood of Buckman. Once there, we were taken to the old, abandoned high school. Let's go. They're waiting for you. This is not a good place to be. We're trespassing. We are more than capable of dealing with users of magic should a situation arise. Now move. The school had been abandoned some time ago. What isn't well known is that the building is also home to spirits of the dead. As we made our way inside, I could feel their presence there. Hatred for me haunting the shadows. All of whom were victims by my hands. All my sins remembered. Something wrong, Byron. You look troubled. It doesn't matter. Not anymore. Felix led us into the school auditorium. On the stage stood Dimitri and his bride Zafrina, the rulers of the vampire nation. Lord Byron, we bid thee welcome. Bid thee welcome? And I thought Catherine spoke over the top. Chris, this isn't the time. Sorry. It is not wise to mock this coven, child. She is not mocking you, Zafrina. Although she does have a point. Why is it you vampires can't just say, Hi Byron, thanks for coming. Why has it always got to be something like, Welcome to my house, come freely, go safely and leave something of the happiness you bring. You were saying something about restraint, lest they kill us? You would do wise to listen to the Order's assassin, Byron. You... know who I am. Indeed. We have quite extensive records on you, Catherine Masson, and those who have fallen by your hand. Felix, this isn't about her. You people brought me here for a reason. What is it? A situation has developed, Lord Byron. One in which we require your aid. What has happened? In a word, war. One that threatens the existence of our species. It is turning the vampire covens against the lythanthrope packs across the globe. First, we did not understand why this was happening. Until we discovered a driving force behind all of it. Driving force? One who is orchestrating all of this. He thrives on widespread destruction. For not only vampire and lichen kind, but soon humanity as well. We have cause to believe he's come here to your city. Exactly who are we talking about here? I thought that would have been obvious, Byron. Dracula is alive and well, and has come to Portland.
You've been listening to The Byron Chronicles, Season 2, Episode 5, The Coming Storm, written by Eric Busby. Featured in the cast were John Specht as Dimitri, Brad Smith as Felix, Stephania Littenbon as Zephyrina, Jules Ismail as Colin Tate, Bill Hulweg as Sam, Megan Presley as Catherine Mason, Laura Post as Chris Sparrow, and David Alt as Byron. This episode was produced and directed by Eric Busby. Post-production by Eric Busby. Music by Midnight Syndicate. Byron theme by Kai Hartwig. Bella Lugosi's Dead, performed by Bauhaus. Bruder de Schatten's, performed by Popol Va. This has been a Darker Projects production. This has been a Darker Project production. Visit us on the web at www.darkerprojects.com. Hi, I'm Persephone Rose, executive producer for Postal Roach and the creator of Emperor Pigs. I'm a huge fan of audio drama. And if you're listening to this right now, I've got a sneaking suspicion you might be too. So make sure your headphones are plugged in tight because you're going to want to hear this. From July 24th through the 26th in 2020, producers, directors, composers, writers, actors, technicians, and fans of audio drama are gathering together for the world's first international modern audio drama convention in Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is going to be amazing. If you like panels, there's going to be panels. Workshops, they've got them. Studio sessions, swag events, live performances... And most importantly, all your favorite creators are going to be there. You can get all the details and purchase your tickets online at www.madcon.com. That's M-A-D hyphen C-O-N dot com. See you at MadCon.